Welcome to another Vectorsoft video. This is video number six. This is the PHP to C++ bridge and this is the program that we're going to be typing in. We're going to do it the YouTube way. You're going to pretend to watch over my shoulder. I'm going to be pretending to be typing it in. I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to try to go quickly because we only have 15 minutes, the time limit provided by our benefactor YouTube. And I'm going to make a blank console project, a Microsoft Visual Studio uh, console project, starting with nothing. Uh, it's going to be pre-configured for Z directory so that you can link to the libraries that, you're, that are needed by this program. Once again, this is a program to do form processing using PHP that's called via C++. I'll show you some diagrams later that will explain this in a little bit more detail and clarity. The input files in this project are 0 through 10. And for more information how to configure the uh, Z directory for Microsoft Visual Studio projects, go to the Vectorsoft webpage, click on Support, go to User Guide, and over here we have information about how to install it. And about in the middle, you'll see in Microsoft Visual Studio. And there's basically two variables that you need to set. Zeter includes for your include path. And Zeter devlibs for your libraries, the debug version. And uh, for the production version, I forget what it is. It's in here. So let's start by typing this program in. I'll explain this as I go. Getting back to our project, Microsoft Visual Studio project, the first line that you need for a console application is this include file. It's a Microsoft thing. Unix guys don't fret, just, just include it and that'll be it. Now the header files are mainly for file objects, INI file, PHP file, and there's also a function for getting data bags. The part for printing the files is going to be basically a stub. I'm going to leave that as an exercise to you. It's really uh, extraneous to the whole concept of what they're doing. And the first thing that I want to do is to load an INI file. This is similar to basically any Microsoft INI file. I'm going to hard code the path, C drive, directory temp YouTube file notice, and the INI file is called billcollector.ini. What this file looks like is here. And it's pretty much a standard Microsoft INI file format. The other two blocks, run and letter, we're not going to use that. But we'll use that in our next video where we demonstrate how to make uh, a mass mailings via email objects and other things in the Z directory. What we want to look at is the first file is our list of recipients which is in the same location in a file called deadbeats.bag. And the second item is the form letter, which is called payup.txt. Now, in the let's get back to the program. After we do our load of the INI file, we want to make a file object for the recipients, another file object for the form letter, We'll also have a temp file for the output that's generated from the PHP processor, the PHP SAPI server API. And I'll set up a variable, a string object, S. The PHP file object I'm calling PF, I'm passing to it the form letter the file object for the form letter, that is, that'll initialize it. And also, we're going to have a data bag for getting the current recipient. And we'll, we'll get to that in a few seconds. First thing you need to do is to do an open. we got to open the uh, recipient's file. And as you can see, in these two lines where I'm setting the file name, I'm passing it directly the INI value. This is not good practice. There's no error checking, really, that I'm doing. And I'm doing that for sake of brevity. 
and also your paths where your RNI file will be located would normally come from some kind of command line uh, configuration function. Next thing we want to do is to get each recipient as a data bag and this function z get next data bag is, is going to load the variable d bag and I'm having this in a loop. We're not really using i as the iterator. The function is declared z get next bag in z text file subs dot h and you can find out what header files you need in the uh, online help on the website under the um, reference section. If you can go back here and click on reference, most of what we're doing is in the files group. You have the, the documentation for the file object, temp file, INI file, etc. Set the name of the temp file to notice dash and then the name of the person, the last name. And I'm using this data bag dot get function for getting that value as name person name last. The data bag looks like this. And our first recipient is Jenny Public. She's not married. She owes $400 and it's 90 days overdue. So right here this line, if we follow the path, person name last, person name last, this will return a string public. Now Miss Public will be then put into this temp file. And we're instantiating the temp file directly inside the loop. So the constructor is going to be called here, and the destructor will be called when we exit outside of the loop when it goes out of scope. The only thing that we need to do after setting up the temp file is to call the PHP file object process. And we're going to give it the temp file for storing the output to there. And the input is going to be in the data bag that we get from this Z get next data bag. And that's it. That's, uh, these are all Z directory functions. The final thing you need to do is simply to call the function print the file. I just dropped this in the wrong place. Put it at the end. Clean this code up a little bit. And voila, we have a fully working, complete program. Let's build it. succeeded. Of course, I tested this earlier. Now, I'm going to run it directly from inside Visual Studio, just by doing an F5, in other words, in uh, debugging mode. I'm not going to put any breakpoints in here. So now it's running, it's processing inside PHP. And in this print the file, we are prompting for input by the simply get yes and then a message ready to continue. Let's to take a look at the file that we generated. We have notice-public and the contents looks like following. Now let's compare that. I'll try to put this side by side with the template file. The template file is called payup.txt, if you recall. I'm using Lemmy VI Editor. And this should look very familiar to PHP programmers. This first 10 lines or so, I'm basically I'm replacing backslash with front slash. I know there's a better way to do it. I was in a hurry, and I'm not really a PHP guy. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get this environment variable z dir, z dir root. I'm going to concatenate it with the path to some PHP utility code. And that PHP utility code is for getting the environment variable according to this path. Now these paths are passed via the C++ program in the deadbeats.bag file. And here we have the first data bag, the first recipient represented by a single data bag, which is Jenny Public. 
So the path person name last right here, it'll return public, which we use to set the temp file name. We also use it right here to get the last name. And the first order of things is to echo dear. And according to the sex variable and married variable, it'll print Mr., Mrs., or Miss. Standard PHP stuff. After this PHP block, we just echo text. And there's some PHP code embedded in here. Generates this output file. Let's keep going. I'm going to skip the next one and we'll take a look at the last one because here at the template file I added, if the last name is Dale, I have a little message. It's uh, This is a debt collector form letter, so this is nasty stuff. And I'm having a little bit of fun here, but I'm basically to show you that you, know, that you can customize it to your heart's content uh, using PHP, which is called by the C++ program. In retrospect, so here we have the two data files that are acting as input to the C++ program that we just wrote. This is generating a data bag, and that data bag is being passed to the PHP SAPI, the command line interface for PHP, and also the form file. And that generates output files, one output file per data bag in the list of recipients in our deadbeats.bag. So there you have it. The entire program, sans the print part, which you can do, I'm sure. It's about 50 lines, and it's a working program. It's doing a lot. It's using the Z directory. And Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next videos.